Hey, what's up everyone? Nick here with my review for Arrow Season 4, Episode 7, titled Brotherhood. This episode dealt with the return of Diggle's brother, Andy, in the form of a Hive special agent. Now, basically the episode really focused on Diggle's story, and it reminded me a lot of the other Diggle-centric episodes, and just how good the quality of those episodes were, because, like, this episode is just top-notch in terms of story, character development, and just acting. I mean, David Ramsey's performance tonight was, like, astounding. I thought and I really really enjoyed the direction that this episode had because I believe one of the very famous fight coordinators from Arrow season 2 directed this episode and you could really see that when they had certain fight sequences like the one between Speedy and Andy at the Hive base. There was also a subplot involving Damien Dark and Lance and also Oliver's campaign to become mayor when Damien Dark confronts Oliver Queen about something that he must do if he wants to keep his candidacy and work together with Damien Dark. But Oliver is actually convinced by Diggle at the end of the episode to fight Damien in a different way than he ever has before, because Oliver goes to him and comes up with a plan to keep in Damien's back pocket as a hidden ally, but like a double agent, so he can fight him just kind of like he did with Ra's al Ghul in Season 3, but Diggle convinces him that this probably isn't the best way to fight Damien, and that he should actually take on Damien in the light of day and make it a public affair. And I really enjoyed seeing this because it gave us a new twist on a villain storyline in the show because the majority of the villains in this show have just kind of fought Oliver privately and like his Green Arrow team privately behind the shadows. And this sort of approach to taking out a villain makes it public so that the entire city can see Green Arrow do something good for the city and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Overall I enjoyed the episode. I thought like I said the acting and the performances were amazing. I'm enjoying the direct that they're taking Thea's character this season. She isn't just going down a path that I didn't want her to go down. She's actually getting some pretty cool things and they actually hinted that she might be the key to taking out Damien Dark because she can actually resist his powers and I think this is probably a product of the Lazarus Pit reviving her or the fact that she's Roz's daughter in the show. That might be some type of effect of uh, her being his daughter. So yeah, overall I'm going to give this one an 8.5. I thought it was great and I can't wait to see next week's episode and the big crossover event that's happening in December. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode down below if you got a chance to see it, and I will be back next week with another review for Arrow.